question number five, you're asked to find the composite of h of g of x. And the two functions are these two, g of x being 3x plus 1, h of x, x minus 1 over 3. So I'm going to rewrite h of g of x as this, h of, and then put the g of x inside. So I don't have a number that I'm going to plug into g. So I'm going to take the entire g of x function here and substitute it in for g of x. So this is going to be h of, take out the g of x, put in 3x plus 1. This tells me to go to the h function, and wherever I see an x, I'm going to take it out and put in a set of parentheses, because the x was just holding a place. Everything else I'm going to write in, minus 1, divide by 3, but now put in the 3x plus 1 in the parentheses. Okay, so for this, I can go ahead and simplify. There's no number in front that I'm multiplying by, so the parentheses can come off. 3x plus 1 minus 1 divided by 3. Well, 3x plus 1 minus 1, those are going to cancel out to 0, and I'm just left with 3x over 3, and I can go ahead and do the division. 3x divided by 3, the 3's will cancel out to 1. And I'm left with 1x, or just x. If I do it to the next function, g of h of x, again, rewrite it. g of h of x. Again, always start with the middle fun or the inside function. In this case, it's h of x. So I'm going to take h of x out and put it in x minus 1 over 3. Then go to the g function, take out its x, write everything else down except the x. And because you're taking out the x, we're going to put in parentheses. And we'll fill that in in a minute. And what you fill it in with is the function that's inside of g here. So it's the x minus 1 over 3. I have to be a little bit careful here. I have to do order of operations before I subtract. I'm really multiplying. Um, and rather than distribute the 3, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and cancel out the fraction. That way I don't have to deal with fractions in the problem anymore. And what I have left is x minus 1 plus 1. There's that plus 1 here. So now when I combine like terms, once again I'm left with x. And it's kind of on a rare occasion that when I do h of g of x and g of h of x, I get the same value. There were problems earlier on that we did this to and we didn't. So there's something kind of special about these two. And if you take a look at it, you can kind of see something that they have in common. You notice that this one's being multiplied by 3, the x is, whereas here we're dividing by 3. Here we're adding 1. Here we're subtracting 1. It's like they're undoing, their operations are undoing each other, and we're left with just the x. And that's exactly what's going on. A little later on, we'll be talking about functions like this and they're called inverses of each other.